In this video, I am hanging out with my wonderful friend, Elise, who is visiting from Cali, and I'm super excited. We're gonna go out, have fun, meet up with mutual friends, you know, socialize, do like the whole, the whole New York nine yards. She lives on the West Coast, happens to have a bunch of things still here in New York from when she was living out here. We're going to go and give you guys an insight on what it's like to resell clothes in New York City and uh, see what we can get. Because Elise has an incredible wardrobe just from being a model out here and all of the alternative looks that she's pulled over the years, all of which I love and I'm here for. So yeah, I'm just chilling in the car while she goes and picks up her stuff right now. This shit is just, like, come on, sorry. What? Tell us a story about it. It was made by Lust Sick Puppy on IG. Follow her. She's a brilliant artist. Actually, she wrote me a sweet little message. She was saying how much I've inspired her to just be an individual, be yourself. So she drew this, or she painted this. start maybe like $20 for the shoes and then see if that person thinks it's a good deal they'll instantly take it yeah. right if they hesitate then we could just start bringing it down like give it maybe yeah, so 30 like seconds have, you have a ceiling and a floor yes exactly so we'll have two bins the blanket mm -hmm. in the middle yeah and then we'll have the signs with the shoes around the sign yes cute <laughs> Okay, so we have just made our first sale. Here is $2 to show for it. And um, yeah, hopefully we get more traffic and more customers. But again, this is, this is a total experiment for us. Um, I've been wanting to do something like this for a while and it just worked out perfectly that Elise was here on a similar mission. And so we joined forces in order to create this little pop-up today. She's back. What did you get? I to find my Zoom. Compost advocates. Um, what did you learn? Some cookie and some oh. That if you freeze your compost and bring it here to the farmer's market, it goes straight to Governor's Island and greens your soil rather than um, the normal dump where it turns into poison. How did they change you out? Awesome, we're so happy. We made it out of this one. So fucking good. I put like a little insole in them when I was wearing them. Wow, Model S. Yes. Oh, they look so good in the sun too. You're doing it. 
I either buy them in situations yeah. like this or like vintage or I'm gifted a lot of stuff. Sure. Who's how she's looking? Oh right? yeah, no, she's ready. She's ready. Are she's off. <laughs> there she goes. Yes. <laughs> they're so comfy. Yeah, they're cute. Oh my god, they're such a statement. Thank you, guys. That's so sweet. Of course. Yeah, you, you made mine too. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Bye. Thank you. Like, like yes. <laughs> Aww. No, you're fine. Okay. Yeah. So for you. So you mentioned that some of these are not sustainable and so your, your company has a lot of concerns about that for the environment, right? Um, are you thinking if you discontinue your unsustainable uh, line or elements, would you have like a PR campaign around it to raise awareness of decision making like that in fashion and how important it is? Might have. To, we're talking to some people who are more expert within like the skin and textile industry. People want an alternative to a skin as well. So they're making things like people are making swimsuits and other things right now out of nylon that's like woven out of plastic bottles. And they're doing the same thing. I mean, everybody's growing like mushroom leather. And yeah. So are you you're excited for the things that are coming then? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, what are you going to wear? Three? Um, some earrings. Oh, cute. Yeah, I love the bus. The bus all have the tiny baby bus all one. Yes, I love these ones. These ones are awesome too. That's perfect. Thank <laughs> you. 